Good afternoon, everyone. We are now live in Adobe Community Philippines for working with audio from video using Adobe Premiere and Audition. So inviting everyone to please do a register. Okay, so registration link is in the comment section. Yan, tinyurl.com uh, slash uh, Premiere Audition AV. Okay, and um, you can download Premiere Pro. I'll be posting the download link for Premiere Pro in the comment section. Okay, so please do check. And the download link for Audition. Okay, I'd like to add our instructor this afternoon. He is an uh, instructor, instructional strategist. I'll be adding Sir James Felizardo. Good afternoon, Sir James. Hello. Good afternoon, Elsie. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. So, Sir James, uh, yeah, he is an instructional designer and a part-time faculty, right, sir? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, you can connect with Sir James in LinkedIn, that's uh, James Felisardo. Okay? Okay, Sir James, ano po ba ang ating ano, gagawin today? Ah, well, uh, today in LC, uh, I'll be sharing with you how to work with, uh, how to work your video in a, in a multi-track editing software, making it simple. Uh, how 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 to dub uh, original language into your dialect or your your uh, into Filipino as we call it, and uh, just like what you see on the telenovelas and the Korean novelas, yeah. So I'll be sharing with you techniques on how to do it. Yeah. Okay, so yes, sir James, let's start po. Okay, so yeah, let me show uh, share my screen first. Uh, Okay, so today uh, I'll be sharing with you working from audio or working with audio from video using uh, Adobe Premiere and Audition. Now, first things first, there uh, you could use a lot. Of, there are a lot of softwares to use uh, video editing and audio editing softwares out there. Um, it's just that I chose to do it with with using the Adobe line, so Adobe Premiere and uh, Audition. You can do this in any video software, even. Uh, even an um, an audio software such as uh, uh, what's this Audacity, you know, and 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 the like. Yeah. In video editing, you, you can use uh, Sony Vegas or Apple Final Cut. There are lots of softwares. Even in your mobile phones, you could you know do this. Okay. So what's the course about? Uh, it's uh, we'll be using both softwares to translate and perform. Uh, this might be some no, uh, nose bleeding terms for now, but I'll explain later. Okay, uh, audio dubbing, editing, mixing, mastering of voiceover or dialogue of a video into a different language or dialect. Okay, so objectives. So, um, uh, here you will be able to identify steps in translating original dialogue voiceover to Filipino, any language or dialect. Okay, given some techniques. Uh, You'll learn how to uh, you learn the steps in recording Filipino voiceover or dialogue. Is the, how they do it in 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 telenovelas and the tagalized tagalized movies and animation that we watch, we see on video and on TV nowadays. Also, you learn how to uh, you learn the steps in audio level mixing. How to balance the different levels. Uh, when we talk about levels in audio, it's its levels, but the the layman's term you call it volume. Okay, so yeah, you learn how to balance uh, different audio levels. Okay, so we'll be covering the following uh, first: some concepts in dubbing, mixing, or re-recording using the automatic speech alignment in Adobe Audition. Uh, working with audio from video, importing a clip. Uh, this uh, this is my my uh, self term okay philippinized 
video script uh, translation. I'll be sharing with you how uh, my technique, okay, and uh, how to dub translated soundtracks to video, adding music and sound effects, uh, finalizing them all into an audio mix down, and then bringing them back to the original video and placing that dubbed, Filipinized, tagalized audio. Okay. So, yeah, if we have time, we'll do this. Uh, but if not, uh, we'll skip, okay? Uh, usually, the, the, the best way to learn this is to do a sample, you know? Uh, just choose a two-minute segment of any English film, uh, TV series, or cartoons, or even a, a, Korean, a Korean film or TV or uh, Korea drama or something, or, uh, or the Japanese anime that you always want. Okay, and uh, yeah, you just choose that two two minute segment. That's that's a project that you could work on later. Okay, so let's go to concepts, Muna. Okay, I'll be jumping between concepts and uh, and doing it on the software. Okay, so first, uh, uh, dubbing, mixing, or re-recording it's a post production process, meaning after shooting, after you know, after shooting all the video, it's uh additional supplementary recordings which are mixed with the original sound or the, or the original dialogue or the original uh, um, music to create the finished soundtrack it's what we call the edited uh, production okay oh, the process usually takes place on a dub stage which we call uh well some some uh some people outside the film industry uh the term dubbing refers to the replacement of voices of actors shown on screen, just like those of different performers speaking another language. So, uh, in in filmmaking, in 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 movies, uh, usually they 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 shoot the the scenes okay with the actors' dialogue. But later, since uh, that dialogue, the sound isn't really that good because there are a lot of noise in the background, noises of cameras, noises of people moving around, and you know everything they usually redub it so the actors go back to the studio watch that uh, watch that recorded film or video and you know try to uh try to reconnect re re reconnect their dialogue in sync with what was shot in the video or the film yeah okay so uh there's a term called automated dialogue replacement or ADR okay it's the process of re-recording dialogue of the original actor to improve audio quality or reflect dialogue changes sometimes in in movies or or even you know even uh, TV series that we watch sometimes after shooting people in the production say ah this dialogue isn't good for the scene we need to change uh, the dialogue so you need to re-record again so or sometimes uh Probably um, you'd be amazed now that uh, in recording a film and uh, and uh, uh, TV uh, programs, there's a hidden mic inside our actors. Uh, sometimes we call it a lapel mic. It's you don't see it here anymore. Usually it's placed on on the on the clothing of the actors. But nowadays they're hidden. Or there's a boom mic probably above uh, the actor or below, which isn't seen on the camera. And sometimes some technical problems happen such that, oh, we lost the dialogue. So we need to re-record again. Okay. So that process is called automatic dialogue replacement. Uh, before we thought that ADR was, you know, done automatically, but that's not that's not the term. The term is, you know, just a it's the term to again re-record that dialogue. Okay, so uh, for, for our experience in the Philippines, uh, dubbing is often used to localize a foreign movie or uh, an anime, an animation or a TV series or any, any other film or video production. So, uh, in many countries, actors who regularly perform this, uh, this work remain little known, uh, which is why in the Philippines, the first dubbers, if you're familiar with, uh, well, the first telenovela that we had that I can recall some of you may not have been born yet was Marimar <laughs> so uh, uh, in Marimar we had the dubbers Marimar, Marimar was a, 
uh, originally in Mexican language format. So uh, when it came to the Philippines, uh, voice actors had to be hired to make it tagalized. So, and the first voice actors were the people in radio dramas. Uh, so these are the the if you're if you're listening to the radio, uh, the radio dramas are usually in the afternoon or or the early evenings, you know. And these people use their voice, their voice actors, professional voice actors, which is why sometimes yeah, when you when, sometimes you you notice that the early telenovelas are sort of like the dialogue is somewhat like theatrical. It's not sometimes it's not natural, no? but through the years, uh, uh, we uh, the, the Filipinos have developed that distinct style of you know making it natural. Uh, nowadays, if you still can notice, eh, most of the language are already being adopted. Uh, the slang of the third sex. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Okay, so there's also a, a, a function in Adobe Audition. It's called automatic speech alignment. It uh, 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 it helps you sync because the problem here is uh, which when we say sync, it's synchronization. It's the timing. Okay, since you're you're changing it into a new language, and when you watch the video, the actor's mouth opens and closes. So you have to be in in sync. When the actor's mouth opens, you have to speak. And when the actor's mouth closes, you have to be silent, which is why some of the the films that you watched before, even the Chinese films in the early, uh, er, you know, it, we sort of, oh, they're still speaking, but the dialogue is, you, you can't hear anything or vice versa. So, yeah. So in Adobe Audition, luckily you can do that, make it in sync, okay? So. Uh, let's 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 watch first uh, one one okay I'll share a video let's let's watch this video okay video file uh, it's it yeah you're familiar with this one it's Toy Story okay uh huh adding it now. Mr. Prickle Pants, we have a guest. You want some coffee? It's good for you, but don't drink too much, or you'll have to, have to. Be right back. Psst. Hey, hello. Hi. Excuse me. Shh. Can you tell me where I am? Shh. The guy's just asking a question. Well, excuse me. I'm trying to stay in character. My name's Buttercup. You've met Baron von Schusch. Shh. Hello. I'm Trixie. Shh. Guys, hey, guys, look, I don't know where I am. We're either in a cafe in Paris or a coffee shop in New Jersey. I'm pretty sure I just came back from the doctor with life-changing news. We do a lot of improv here. Just stay loose, have fun, you'll be fine. No, 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 I... Who wants lunch? Beep boop, beep boop. I have the secret ingredient. Jelly beans. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. Poison? Yeah. Who would do such a mean thing? know how to get out of here there is no way out <gasps> just kidding doors right over there well cowboy you just jumped right in didn't you i'm dolly uh woody woody really you're gonna stick with that because now's your chance to change it new room and all and that's that's coming from a doll named dolly oh okay yeah okay yeah so that's the english version okay so now let's see how abscbn did the tagalized version. Okay. Sanay kami magkunwa-kunwarian dito. Basta sumakay ka na lang at makukuha mo rin. Hindi, hindi. Kailangan ko si... Sinong gutom na? Tipu, tipu. Meron akong sikretong nilagay. Jelly beans. Ay, naglason ang tubigan natin. Naglason? Sa! Sino kaya ang salbahing gagawa nun? Ha! 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 Ha!
Gusto ko lang malaman kung paano makaalis dito. Pero walang daan palabas dito. <sighs> Pero lang, labas ka lang dyan sa pinto. Galing, cowboy. Ang dali mong nakasabay sa laro namin. Ako si Dawi. Ah, uh, Woody. Woody? Talaga? Yun ang pangalan mo? Okay, Davos. Kumapit kayo. Baka malikot ang sasakyan natin. Tatlo, dalawa, isa, santo! Okay. So, yeah. See how... Any reaction so far? Anyone? And do we have any questions so far? So far with what you've... Uh... Been able to see. Curious to know, though, sir, who was the voice actor for that child? Ah, <laughs> well, actually, uh, ABS-CBN usually has the uh, has a lot of dubbers. You know, there's there's not really they're not really that known. They don't use uh, actors actors usually. Uh, these dubbing sessions are low budget. It's more expensive to pay certain actors. I think in in yeah, for for this particular one, I think yeah. So, uh, there are some there are some uh, other films that have been dubbed. They they always advertise who will voice it over or you no. Know. But so far for this one, yeah, it's just the regular dubbers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So moving forward, yeah. Any more yeah? Any more questions that we can accommodate so far? And for now. Ah, okay. We're seeing your slide now. right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're seeing my working with audio from video slide? Yep. Okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, how do we place video in audition? Okay. Uh, Adobe Audition is a purely audio editing multi-track recording software. It's not designed for editing video, but you can import a single video file. Okay. And so, since the the work here is all about editing audio from a in a video so you could yeah import that single layer video into audition and uh record lots of audio that you would want you know even place music or sound effects so that's how it's done uh again audition is not a video editing software we place the video in adobe audition because we want to edit the audio. Okay. So that's that's how it's done. Okay. So in 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 addition, there are a lot of uh, video files that could be imported uh, or placed. Uh, okay. The following are the video files, AVI, DV, MOV, MPEG-1, MPEG-4, the, the more popular known uh, format. 3GPP is a uh, cell phone format. Okay. So... Okay, so when you're doing this in audition, it's best to place low resolution video files. Don't use the HD format uh, video files because audition will be a little slower. And timing is very important here. When you're dubbing, you need to be in sync with with uh, the 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 video. Your voice has to be the same timing as you know when that actor in the video opens and closes their mouth. So. Hence, using high-resolution videos will make you off-sync, okay? So that's that's the important reminder, okay? Next is, so how do we import that video clip in Audition? Okay, let's, let's go to Audition. All right, let's go to Audition. Do you see my Audition screen? Or do I have to share it? Okay, yeah, we're back. Okay, so I need to share my audition. Share screen, window, Adobe audition. Okay. Okay, so yeah, now you're seeing my audition. Okay, so first things first, let me close first this one. Okay. Close all. Okay, so when you're doing an audition, you need to well, do a new multi-track project. File, new multi-track session. Okay. 
uh, any any file name will do. Let's say let's say fill audio dub by story three. Okay, and then the settings, just template is none. If you're using video, it must be sample rate must be 48k and uh, leave the rest as is 32 bit float stereo. Okay. Importing is just as easy as file import or control I. Usually it's best to memorize control buttons. Okay, so yeah, just original video and you have the video there. Okay. So all you need to do is drag this video to the timeline and uh, it will ask you, it's a different format, Audition will uh, convert it for you. And there you have the video, there's a video track and an audio track, okay? And you can see this on screen. By the way, if you want this appearance, uh, this is a basic uh, Audition appearance, okay? So now, Let's listen to the. This is this is a different uh, segment in the Toy Story three. Uh, I asked when when I was teaching in, uh, in in college. Uh, I asked my students to do this as part of uh, their their project. So, yeah, let's listen to this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's say I want to dub my voice in a particular, uh, yeah, that that part. No, no need to tagalize. It's you're just calling the name. So, okay, so the way you do this is first you set your audio track. Your audio hardware must reflect the microphone that you're using. Yeah. So in this case, I'm using a headset mic. So I've set it up. You need to set it up in default input output. There, and you need to select it. Okay, so, and then you press the recording button and yeah, you can see the level meter already uh, moving, okay? And that, that, yeah, mic placement is very important. See, if the mic is far from your voice, if it's too close sometimes, yeah, it's overloaded, so. Uh, it's just uh, placing the mic properly so that you know you can speak naturally okay so with this one i need to be in sync with okay when, when that character says buzz buzz okay so let's see uh-huh and i need to press record this is the record button okay now just rewind it a few seconds back so you have that uh, buelo, so to speak. Buzz. Okay, so there. Now let's see the vid. See, so that's just one word, though. <laughs> no, okay, so that's that's generally how to do it. Uh, the, the thing is, you need to watch the video first. Be familiar with the dialogue. Okay. Yeah, so how is it done? Okay. Um, do you see my notepad? Uh, hey, let me see. Uh huh. I'm looking at ah uh, no audio. Oh, how come? Nelsie says there's no, there's no audio. Oh, let's do it again. Uh huh. Yes, sir. The uh, no, from the premiere. Ah, from the premiere. Okay. From the premiere. Ah no. This one. We, so this one can you hear the dialogue how is it 
I can hear it. Jomel, can you hear it? Can you please type in the chat box? Hmm. No audio. Uh, how do I? Let's see. I'll stop sharing first. Then wait. Let me share again. Share, share, share. I must have share screen. Oh, I need to click share system audio. Okay. Let's go back. Big bus take. Huh? Right? Buddy? I just want you to know that even though you tried to terminate me, revenge is not an idea we promote okay, on my yeah, planet. Okay, got it. So I need to share the whole screen. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's watch again this one. Okay. Let's watch first the... Oh, great. How am I going to convince those guys it was an accident? Buzz! Buzz! Ha! You're alive! This is great! Oh! I'm saved! I'm saved! And he'll find you here! He'll take us back to the room and then you can tell everyone that this was all just a big mistake. Huh? Right? Buddy? I just want you to know that even though you tried to terminate me, revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Oh, well, that's good. But we're not on my planet, are we? No. Okay, come on. You want a piece of me? Okay, so that's the scene. Okay, that's the scene that we have to dub. Okay, and uh, okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, just looking at the uh, chat window. Okay, okay, let me get back to audition. Yeah, there. Okay, so how is the dubbing done? Okay, let me do this again. Okay, uh, first things first, you need to. Uh, translate first. Uh, mm, type first the original dialogue. Okay. Uh, so, oops. Uh, not this one. Not this one. It's the other one. Okay, this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh no no, it's the other one. Ah, yeah, okay, this one. Okay. So, uh, the original, you need to uh, ask this. Write the original dialogue. Okay. Let's jump to my... Okay, transcribe. Yeah, the terms transcribe. Okay. You need to transcribe the original video dialogue first. Okay, so here, you see, I've uh, already typed the original English dialogue, and then you're to translate it into Filipino. Okay, now there's a. Let me go back to my PowerPoint file. Okay, why tagalized? Why Filipinized and not tagalized? Okay, the language that we speak is Filipino. Tagalog is a dialect. So uh, nowadays, there's a distinction, you know, between using Tagalog ba or Filipino. Uh, if you use Tagalog, it's just the dialect here in Metro Manila, Bulacan, and, you know, but the reason why we have Filipino as the language is it's because it's encompassing all our dialects. So remember, the term should always be Filipino or Filipinized. It's not Tagalized. Okay. So again, the process is transcribe the original dialogue of the video. And then, referring to the original dialogue version, you identify what we call hit points or marks of timing dialogue. You can place markers before and after that dialogue. It, it means that when the actor's mouth or the animated actor's mouth opens, place a mark. When it closes, place that mark so you'd know how much dialogue space you can do your dialogue. Okay. And then here's the technique. Uh, you're to count the number of syllables in the original 
English dialogue. Okay? So when you think of a Filipino translation, it has to match that number of syllables. Yeah. Pretty tricky, right? Uh, when I asked my, I had, I had an alumni friend who works, uh, who, who directs the uh, Filipinized uh, uh, production in ABS. And, you know, when I asked him, how do you do it? Uh, da direct Danny. We call him Direct Danny. Okay. So, you know, he just looked at the video when, when the character mouth opens, looks at the time code, you know, time code is the counter on the video, how many seconds? Okay, where does the dialogue, where does the mouth open begin? Where does it close? Okay, then how many seconds do I have? And then I think I need to think of a dialogue that will squeeze in these number of seconds. So okay, that's a little bit complicated, you know. But for them, they've already perfected it. What I'm saying is there are a lot of ways on how to do it. I'm just sharing what I've discovered. And I hope this works for you as well. So with uh, as, as far as my technique is concerned, it's counting the number of syllables. Because you can do this for any language, okay? Whether it's uh, English, Brit, uh, German, or... I did this once in when I when I was in Laos, we had to translate some of their video into their native language, which is Lao. So we used the same technique and we were able to do it perfectly. Yeah. So it counts a lot. So again, the number of syllables must match your Filipino words translation. Okay. Uh the, the beauty of our Filipino uh language and our Tagalog dialect is you can use some expression words like Ba, ano, eh, we, no? <laughs> no? So, uh, just to compensate for that syllable count. Now, sometimes you won't be exact. It's difficult to be exact, you know, if, if let me show this script, okay? Like uh, this dialogue, okay? Uh, the English translation says, oh, great, how am I going to convince these guys it was just an accident? And that's 17 syllables, okay? So the translation is here. Galing. Paano ko sasabihin ito'y aksidente lamang? Yeah, that's 17 syllables. So luckily, it's exact. But sometimes, you know, if you want to change this, wow, you can say, wow, paano ko sasabihin aksidente to? So if that's the dialogue, wow, paano ko sasabihin aksidente to? So that's just, how many? That's just 13. 13 syllables. And it won't match. So as much as possible, there are many ways of thinking, you know, thinking how to translate. But if you stick to, sometimes you could be just off by about two or three syllables. And yeah, that's that's okay. Sometimes you can place those words. Ah, ah, galing. So it's, it's being creative in your translations. But the idea is, if you can match it together, then timing won't be much difficult. That's the technique. Okay. So with here, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try. I'll I'll be trying this dubbing. Okay. <laughs> uh, for this one. Okay. So luckily in audition, you can work with multiple windows. Okay. So I can see the dialogue while while I'm doing it. Okay. So. Again, let's watch the original. The dialogue begins here. How am I gonna? Okay, so let's let's. So the dialogue starts here. How am I gonna? Okay. So in marking that spot, you just press on the keyboard the letter M. Okay, so that's the first marker. How am I gonna convince those guys it was an accident? Okay, so. And another marker, and you have it. So this is your. It's the dialogue that you have to work How on. How am I gonna convince those guys it was an accident? So with audition, you can luckily you can do this practice. You, you know you've you've. Uh, I'm sure most of you you're familiar with your favorite movies, your favorite TV shows, and just by watching, you're you're sitting in your, your chair and watching the video or the movie, you can already be in timing with their dialogue because you're you already know how, how how the timing is and you're familiar with how it's done so in addition the technique is you know uh click this uh, loop playback button so you'll be able to 
internalize the timing. How am I going to convince those guys it was an accident? How am I... So if I were to practice this and using the dialogue, how am I going to... Wait, I need to take off that racket. And just a few seconds, so. Oh, great. Okay, so it's different, okay. How am I going to convince? So, paano ko sasabihin? Okay, okay. Accident. And again, again. Oh, great. How paano ko sasabihin? Ito'y accidente lamang. Accident. So, see? It's, it's, it's practicing the timing. How am I paano ko sasabihin? Ito'y accidente lamang. See? So, that's it. Okay, so when, once you've got the timing, it's time to record. And setting another track to record that particular dubbing is choosing another blank audio track and pressing the record button. But before that, you need to set your audio hardware to reflect what you're using. Right now, I'm using a headset and it has to be, or if you're using the microphone of a laptop, you can select it here. If you're using another external microphone or something, yeah, you need to set it up this way. Otherwise, your voice won't get in and it won't be recorded in audition okay so judging that you've already set it up all you need to do is press the record button and now you see the audio level monitor uh, indicates that okay the computer is or the adobe audition is already sensing your voice and when it comes to level meters for some of you are doing is the first doing this the first time uh you need to Make sure that the audio level isn't too low, like this one. Okay. This one, my, my, my voice is too far. See, the audio level is low, and that isn't good. Okay. If it's too close, then it's overloaded. So, see? So, it, it's, it's just uh, practicing mic positioning. Even if you're using a studio mic, the studio mic is here. You know, it's, it's a matter of maintaining your distance. E even recording artists have perfected the singers on stage know when to place the mic a little bit far when when their voice is going loud okay so for this one i think i perfected my mic distance so again uh, in the dialogue uh, i need to press that record button okay and when i press that record button here i need i need to press it here too in audition okay so all i need to do now is Bring back the audio a little bit and record. Wait, let me move a little further back. I might lose the timing. Oh, great. How am I going to convince those guys it was an accident? Okay. Okay, so here's my dialogue. Recording now. Oh, great. Paano ko sasabihin ito isang aksidente lamang? Accident. See? Oh, okay, let's go back. Listen to my dialogue. How am I going to convince? Oops, it's need to solo it. Oh, great. Paano How ko sasabihin ito yung isang aksidente lamang? Accident. So, see, I'm off timing, so need a little practice. But, the beauty is, okay. Let me do this. I think this will do this live. Okay, here's a, the, the point. The idea is, you know, to get that timing right. Need to enlarge it better. Yeah, okay. So I'll do it again. I, you can just repeat the recording process and you'll be able to erase what you recorded earlier. Hey, ready? Paano ko sasabihin ito ay isang aksidente lamang? See, okay. So, let's see. I'll mute the original audio. So, we'll see if my recorded voice is in sync. Paano ko sasabihin ito ay isang aksidente lamang? See? So, yeah, more or less. And yeah, that's... So, Wait, let me make this a little simpler. Okay, so, okay, oh, okay, there. 
So that's the technique. Uh, as long as you translated it properly, and you know, it still requires a lot of practice. You know, even if you got the that written dialogue correct, according to the number of syllables of translation, timing is still a thing. Okay. So, but luckily, in addition, uh, well, a lot of uh, I think some some in 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 ABS do this technique. You know, it's called uh, what we call. Let me move a few slides back. Called automatic speech alignment. Okay, so let's see. Here's how it's done. Can you hear the audio of this video? This YouTube video. Let me know. Let's do something really cool. Let's say that we had some audio recorded on set and it was noisy. We needed to re-record it, so we've got an ADR session. We've got our on-set audio and we need to reconcile the, the ADR audio with the on-set audio. And for those of you who have ever done ADR work, you know that you wanna have somebody else do it because it's just painful. Audition makes it easy. Watch this. Let's go up to here and say close all. I'm not going to save any changes because I want to come back to where I left off. And let's go to file. Let's open up a recent project, which is speech align. Here is the original onset audio in the track called onset. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Okay, then I went and I re-recorded it because I needed to have a richer sound. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Now, if you've ever worked with onset audio, it's never as good as what we just listened to. There's noise and clanking and goodness knows what all. The, the gremlins conspire to make onset audio as bad as it possibly can be. So now I've got to reconcile these two. But if I play these two clips together, here's a problem. One of, One our, of our key, key audio, audio challenges, challenges is, is getting, getting the, the same, same talent, talent recorded, recorded on, on different... They don't sync. So now I've got to adjust on a syllable-by-syllable -syllable basis to take this ADR and get it to lip sync with the, with the on-set audio, which, as you can imagine, is not for the faint of heart nor somebody that's in a hurry. This is a painstaking process. But watch what Audition does. I'm going to select these two clips here. Then I go up to the clip menu and go to automatic speech alignment. I want to align my reference. My onset clip is called Mic 2. We can see the name of the clip there. It's in the track where I'm putting all of my onset audio. And I want to move around the clip called Mic 1. That's, you can see the clip header there. I want to have it be really tightly aligned. The default is balanced alignment and stretching, but I want to have real tight alignment because it's going to stretch the clip, speed it up or slow it down without changing the pitch if I ask it to. And I'm going to have it add a new track, click OK. That quickly, it's aligned it. Now look at the header. I've got one that's mic two, one that's mic one. My aligned track has been mic one voiceover aligned. It's in the middle. Let's mute mic one. Let's listen to the source clip, which is here, with the aligned clip and see how tightly aligned they are. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent, which is pretty darn amazing, recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Now, these clips didn't even start at the same time. Yeah, they were in the ballpark, but we heard before they weren't perfectly aligned. Now, let's take a listen to the aligned clip and see what it sounds like. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Now, the reason I chose this option is I wanted to get the alignment really tight. Let me just undo this select both clips. What I would do in real life is a slightly different setting. Clip, go to automatic speech alignment, and I would change this to balanced alignment and stretching because I end up with a higher quality result. Click OK. Look for the clip that's got aligned in the title. And now when I solo this and play it, one of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent 
recorded on different days. Which is just amazing. If you've ever spent days, even weeks, trying to get ADR to work with your project, this can get you so close so quickly that all you have to do is spend time with the exceptions, not spend time with the vast majority, which can be automatically aligned using Audition. Okay, so that's how it's done uh, professionally. So let me close that. Okay, so let me go back to my audition. Okay, so comments. Yeah. Okay. Arjun, any reaction so far? <laughs> how, how do you find that technique? Let's see if Arjun. You can type away in the chat box, Arjun, if you have some. I audition now. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Galing. Paano ko sasabihin na ito'y aksidente lamang? Buzz! 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 Buhay ka! Magaling! Ligtas na ako! Ligtas ako! Makikita tayo at iuuwi. At sasabihin mo na ito yung isang pagkakamali, di ba? Tama! Pre, gusto ko lang malaman mo na kahit gusto ko patayin, ang paghihigantay hindi pwede sa aming planeta. Oh, okay yun! Pero wala tayo sa amin. Hmm? Di! Ah! Ano? Ha? Tara na! Tuntukan na! Ah! Ah! Ito na ito ang pizza! And that's it. Yeah. So... With this one, okay, the, the students were not really voice actors, so, uh, but it's amazing that they were able to be in sync with the video, okay, <laughs> and they they just did it manually, you know, they didn't use any automatic speech alignment because, especially here in the country, here in the Philippines, we don't do much on automation, okay, like in in, in the U.S., when you're recording songs, you use auto-tune if the singer falls out of tune, okay. <laughs> Filipinos don't do it that way. Okay, we do it by pure talent. We do, so, like this one, it's all about timing and you know the proper voice expressions. Uh, in Adobe Audition, you uh, you have the luxury of uh, adding a lot of tracks. I think more than more than fifty audio tracks. I think a maximum of ninety nine audio tracks. So, what what you can usually do is you know play some. Place your recordings on different tracks so you could work with them more easily. But of course, you can do the, them just in all in the same track. But with this one, they opted, you know, it's easier for them to move it back and forth. Uh, a little movement would be, and you're already out of timing. Let's say this one. Buzz! Buzz! See? They're, they're not, it's not sing. So, okay. Uh, sometimes what they do is, you know, if they're not in timing, they move that audio clip until they get the timing, you know, but it takes a lot of time and it's, that's not the proper way to do it. The proper way to do it is pure talent. It's practicing your dialogue. It's practicing your script, practicing your voice, uh, voice character, you know, just like, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. And so when you've already done it, okay, when, when you, when you feel that, feel that you've already uh, perfectly done it the take uh, the, the step is to finalize all of this into one audio layer so again audition is not a video editing software so since we dubbed the original sound into filipino we need to finalize this multi track dubbing into another flat audio file so that we could place it back to the original uh, video and replace that original dialogue. So, okay, in addition, all you need to do is export. 
multi-track mix down then in, just click entire session okay and it will ask you where to save it okay i already have set this up earlier so it should be on the same project where you've saved all of these files and the project as well and when it comes to audio uh, using wave or mp3 is is fine what what whatever it is whatever uh, file file type you use for file format okay let's try mp3 audio okay so audition exports it and yeah okay, so now we have that mixed down where is it that audio file again again file export all the track mix down entire session sorry bus let's capitalize this so i can see it easier mix down a okay yeah there it is Toy Story picks down. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So, let's listen. Hi, Galing. Paano ko sasabihin? Na okay. Now we have this audio file. Okay. Then we go into Premiere. And in Premiere, wait, I need to import. I'll import the original video. Okay, make this new sequence from clip. Okay, so I have this. This is the original English version. See? Boss! Now we place the dubbed version. I import again. File import or control I. Uh, this is the most recent one that I did. And all you need to do is drag it into another audio track okay and let's see i'll mute the original audio and let's see hi galing paano ko sasabihin na ito'y aksidente lamang buzz buzz Buzz! Buzz! Buhay ka! Magaling! Ligtas na ako! Ligtas ako! Makikita tayo at iuuwi! At sasabihin mo na ito yung isang pagkakamali, di ba? Tama! Pre? Gusto ko lang malaman mo na kahit gusto mo akong patayin, ang paghihiganda hindi pwede sa aming planeta. Oh! Okay yun! Pero wala tayo sa amin. Hmm? Di! Ah! Ha? Tara na! Tuntukan na! Ah! Ah! Ito na ito ang pizza! Somebody once told me the world is gonna Okay, they added uh, music towards the end. So, yeah, that's it. That's it so far. Uh, let me stop sharing. Okay, yeah. So, how was it? How was it? Uh huh. Oh, we got a question from Mel. Oh, sir, is a, can Adobe Audition be used as a sound mixer, especially for live streaming, or it's just an audio editor? Yeah. Uh, basically, it's not, you need to use a different software for live streaming, okay? This is more of a post-recording uh, software, okay? It's either you record audio and then edit and then share, okay? But it's not for live streaming, yeah. So that's one, one question now. Yeah, thanks for asking. Wait, speech alignment went through the process yeah
So ready to take your questions. Eh? Ready to, you know, with, with with the technique that I've shared with you, you think you're ready to dub? <laughs> okay. When editing some audio, just changing time affect the pitch. Ah, that's 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 a good question. Uh, there are many ways of. Uh, let's go to audition. Okay, let's go to audition. Go back to the multi track. Okay. Uh, when you edit audio, let's say. Oh. Okay. Let's let's go to this one. So let's let's go to a dialogue. So it's it's more easier. I think. Okay. Let me go back to the exact question, okay? Exact question of Syrah. When editing some audio, does changing time affect the pitch? It's both ways. You can set it. If you want to change pitch, yeah, it sometimes it will, but it depends on the settings. So in addition, let's say this one. Uh, I want this dial. Okay, let's say this is... The dialogue is a little bit slower and you want to speed it up. Okay, so here, uh, go to effects, then pitch, time and pitch. Uh, let's go to manual pitch correction. Sir James? Yes. Yes. Yes, now. Share screen po. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. Share screen. Sorry, I only have one. Okay, so now, can you see my audition again? Sorry. See it now, yeah. Okay, so here, this is the dialogue. Ano ko sasabihin na ito'y aksidente lamang. Paano? Okay, so we want to speed up this, this dialogue, okay? So, let's go to effects, time and pitch. Wait, 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 not this one. Effects. Stretch and pitch. Yeah, okay, here. Okay, so let's say I want to make it faster. So, wait. Sit, stretch, and pitch. Hmm. I hasten that. Wait, let's go back. In Premiere, if that's the dialogue. In Premiere, you, yeah, speed. Ah, there. Okay. Yeah, here. You can click maintain audio pitch. Okay, but that's in Premiere. In Audition. Hmm. Speed. It's, it's supposed to be time. I think in Audition... Manual pitch correction. There's no setting in audition, unfortunately. But yeah, they're supposed to be. Yeah, anyway. Uh, you know, when, when you're editing audio, if you want to hasten that, that speed, yes, you can maintain the pitch. Yeah, that's it. Questions? Any more questions? Another question, uh, which I mentioned a while ago for the ah. benefit of the musicians. <laughs> so I, I guess some are listening has uh, amplitude and guitar rig. Can I plug it in, audition? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, let's go share my screen again. So there are... 
go to special. Okay. Then there's guitar suite. Okay. So uh, you have here guitar effects that you could use. Uh huh. Wait, do I have guitar sounds here? Wait, let me get a let me get an audio clip. Okay. Let me get an audio clip from from my band. <laughs> okay, so okay. Okay, this is my band, Cifra. Okay, we're 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 into. For those who are not familiar with Sir James, uh, Sir James is also a musician. Ha. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Basis. So yeah. To be exact. Be based. Yeah. So let's say this one. Uh, where's that guitar? I'm looking for a guitar track which I can place. Ah, here. Okay. Okay, this one. And let's say, ah, wait. Let's 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 do a new multi-track session. Okay, so we can import it clear. Second lead guitar. Okay, here it is. Remember, I'm just using the audio for this one. So, okay, where's that file? Rolling, rolling, rolling. There. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is the file. Okay, this is the guitar file. And uh, let me shorten this clip. I think the, the effect here was uh, okay. That's a regular distortion. Now, let, let, if I want to notch it up a little, I want it to have a metal, somewhat a more. I want a metal version of it. You know. Just, uh, the garage fuzz. Okay, so this is the original audio, and this is the one with effect. Oops, wait, wait, wait. The level is too high. Yeah, you, you need to, you know, be a little careful. Metal screamer is a metal screamer. <laughs> See? So if you want to place guitar effects, all you need to do is click on effects, go to special, then guitar suite. And you have a lot of effects to choose from. Okay. Yeah. Rest box. And you have... Okay, there. Yeah. Any more questions, uh, sir? Uh, can you show us uh, a plugin? Uh, ah, okay. Imported uh, a different plugin from a different company. Uh, ah, okay. Uh huh. Wait. I think the plugins are in. Do you have any plugins uh, installed? Uh no. Unfortunately, here I haven't. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, but they're factory installed, okay. VST3. But wait, I need to select a clip first and then effects. I think, yeah, I think this is where you place your plugins. Yeah. You need to place it on, a, you know, you need to install it first. But unfortunately, I don't have anything. But this is how you do it. You place it first, you add your 
plugins in Audition, just like if you're using po Photoshop or, yeah, you add your plugins first and then from here you can access them. But yeah. Okay. Do you have any uh, recordings there having a vocal and some instruments? Oh, you want to hear our band? Okay. <laughs> Let's close all of this first. Here's, uh, well, I play in an all original. Uh, I play in a lot of bands, and here's one of them. Um, this is our band. It's called Cifra, and uh, I mix what we call some quarantine videos, and uh, here's one of them. Inside. Ah, okay, this one. So, open the project. Where's my audition? Ah, I mix them in, sorry. I mix them in Premiere because we have videos. So, yeah, I mix them in Premiere because what we did, okay, for this one, it's more of a Premiere thing because we recorded our individual videos and I put them together. Okay, so it's all, it's all video, but just the same, you, you, you might want to see how it looks, okay? So it's supposed to be in Premiere. Yeah, it's Premiere. It's a different story, so. But it's still multi-layer audio, so just to give you an idea, uh, the beauty of Adobe Premiere and Audition, some of the audio effects are similar, okay? So let's go back. Slide inside. Yeah. Then import our project. Oh, it's supposed to be open. Sorry. Okay. So at first you get this warning that you know, the tracks are, so it's, the tracks are on a different part of the hard drive, so I need to, display only exactly matches, okay. Preview. Search, search, search. This is faster. Wait. inside oh well anyway just skip okay so i'll show you the different audio tracks okay for this one yeah so yeah with this one i think For the vocals, I think I placed, uh, let me see, where's that vocal? Yeah, there, that's the vocal. What I did was I placed, did I place an effect on the vocal? Where's audio? Say 
I want to place an effect on the vocal. Let me stretch that first. Uh, the vocal is The vocal is down below. Here is the vocal. Okay. So, have to unlock first the rest. It's the same thing, like, this is the same thing as in audition. So, I need just to leave the vocals on. Okay, so let's solo it first. See? So with this one, the vocal is flat. Okay, so now we can place some effects. That's track number eight. Okay. So for track number eight, let's go to editing and effects. Audio effects. Let's say I need a delay and echo. Okay, let's say I want a delay for track number eight, the vocals. Yeah. to stretch it so you'll see all oops see all the audio tracks hmm. hey, what's happening is audio track number Okay, I lost the audio tracks. How come? Let's go on to audition. Is that vocal track? So again, to our uh, viewers, as you can see here, we can actually create a whole song, <laughs> right, Sir James, using audition. Yeah, uh, I, I'll I'll do that. Multi track. I'll just import the audio. Okay, so this is the vocal. This is the lead vocal. Okay, so, okay, 
I'll, I'll get the I'll just get a few instruments, okay? Yeah, so so Okay. So the guitar. Okay, I'll get that guitar. Okay, now I have it. And just balance the levels a little bit. Share screen though, sir. See? Now, uh, drums. So, drummer. This one. Oops. No, oh, that's not the drum. Ah, here. Okay. Drums. Mute. Solo. Requesting share screen now. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Lost the screen. Yeah, see my audition now? Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. So, first, now I've got three tracks, uh, drums, guitar, and the vocals, okay? So... Okay, so, let's see. This is the first point. I need a sync point. Wait, let's go to the drum count first. So drummer starts here. Can start there. Ah, uh, okay. Here, here. Here's the four count. Home. Okay, so. Okay, so with that, I need to align the guitar here. I mark the timeline then i get the guitar the guitar has to start there too okay so let's see if they're in sync oops not yet Just be a little Oops. See, this is a little tricky. That's the... Need to align it with... There. Okay. So it must be here. Oops. It's getting to be a challenge, yeah. Huh? 
it. I see the drums. Okay, so this is the sync point. Where does the guitar start? Ah, okay. Guitar doesn't start. Okay, here. Yeah, okay, got it. And the vocals comes in. Wait, I, let's get the timing of the vocals. Let's get the timing of the vocals. Again, 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 Mark. Okay, let's cut it. Okay, so we've got, yeah. So usually this is just how you compose and put them together. Now, once you need to place effects, let's say on the vocals, uh -huh. select the vocal track, and then I want a reverb. Let's pick a studio reverb. And you need to solo the track, so. With a green you wear like you're having fun In a black space stare and See? the way you spun The glare so bare in the back When placing vocals on, 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 on lead singers, it doesn't need to sound karaoke-ish. You know, just place a little reverb, not the usual echoey effect that we hear in, in karaoke. So Again, soloing. Easier to mix when you're using sliders, so yeah. This one. There, so yeah. So far, that's what we have. Yeah. Any more? <laughs> we we went into audio recording already, so. Okay, that's a. I think that's a separate. In depth of that <laughs> would be a separate course. Yeah. Anyways, I guess the last question is uh, your recommended uh, microphones for overdub, ah. for singing, for spoken word. Okay. Uh huh. For yeah, uh, microphone. Well, there are a lot actually. Uh, it depends on what equipment you're using. If you're if you want to go professional, you can go for condenser microphones. They're they're the more studio type, but they're a little bit expensive. So, you know, if you're just doing home recording, uh, well, uh, there are a lot of uh, cheap condenser microphones in the market. But if you're using condenser microphones, you need special equipment uh, since they're powered. You just can't connect them to your computer. It needs a, a separate power supply, a phantom power, as they call it. So you'll need a special adapter. Now, if you really want to go serious with that one, you, you'll need professional, a little sub-professional gear. Yeah? So when it comes to microphones. Uh, Cyrus asking again, 
if the Adobe Premiere effect can affect pitch, does that mean it can also do auto-tune? No, it doesn't. Uh, there's a different software for auto-tune. Unfortunately, Adobe hasn't supported it in even in Audition or, you know, it's a different recording software. So, again, uh, not that we don't want to house this. We don't want to promote automation or something, but, you know, the reason why we Filipinos are more popular is because we've got the talent. <laughs> where our singers are more in tune you know, like doing the recording before a lot of performers like you know famous Sharon Cuneta when she does the song it's one or two takes then it that's it but you know if you're well I don't want to name names foreign foreign uh foreign singers like you know Britney Spears became popular in in, in the 90s because of that auto auto tune function you know so when you're using auto-tune, yeah, well, for those of you who are not uh, familiar with how auto-tune works, okay, let's say uh, you're, you're singing a song in the line and suddenly your pitch goes lower, that auto-tune brings you back to the original pitch automatically. It's just like an automatic voltage uh, regulator that we use on, at home. You know, when the voltage fluctuates down from 220 volts, it goes down to about 190. It brings it back normally. So that's that's the principle of auto-tune. Now, it depends on the response time. How fast can that auto-tune bring you back in tune? So there are a lot of, you know, tweaks in the in, in that machine that it, it it takes perfection. It's it really just isn't that easy. And uh, somehow if you're doing this for the first time, you'll be spending a lot of of uh, effort and time getting it right. How soon can the auto-tune react faster to that? Uh, depreciation in pitch, you know, in, in that uh, uh, whether it's a high pitch or low pitch, uh, how fast can it bring it back to the original tune? So uh, our our studios, you know, Pinoy Pinoy's are really proud. You know, they go more for talent and not for engineering. So, but yeah, just to answer the question, sorry, Adobe doesn't support auto tune. Any more questions? Again, let's 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 hear from yeah, let's hear from our friends. Any more? Uh, yeah, from the topic earlier, uh, with dubbing, you know, uh, uh, you can do this. You know, this is this used to be my racket <laughs> in the past. We used to dub uh, some of the cartoons into into the dialect. I think I had I had some contracts where uh, they wanted this they wanted some biblical uh, cartoons done in their dialect. I think it was Misayan or something. So we we used that rule. So we counted the number of syllables first in the original English version, and yeah, then we translated it to their dialect. We counted how many we we asked the lang their language experts. You know, how do you translate this in Visayan with the exact or, you know, sometimes you could be off about two or three syllables, but that's just about it. But again, it took a lot of practice and, yeah, we're able to do it. So I think the power of mixing uh, these two softwares, uh, combining these two softwares, Audition and uh, Premiere, to do audio dubbing, to change that original audio, uh, will be very helpful for you. So you don't need any more that so much professional. Uh, and you can do this even in your laptop. Uh, we haven't tried this yet on mobile, but I'm sure, yeah, this could be done mobile. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, once more, if you have uh, questions, uh, after this, feel free to connect with Sir James Felizardo in LinkedIn. So I'm showing his uh profile now if you appreciate what we're doing sir james again uh and hope to have you once more what what would be the next topic if ever i think the next topic uh joe mark is uh uh syncing different camera footage this time yeah. using uh adobe premiere let's say you you had an event uh, whether it's a party or a concert or something, and you use different cameras or different mobile phones to shoot different angles of the of the event. So I'll be teaching you how to put them together and in sync. 
again. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that. So stay tuned uh, for that updates on when will that happen to be exact. Again, that's a cool uh, cool topic, a uh, multi-camera editing with the Premiere Pro. So once more, uh, thank you so much, Sir James. And good evening, everyone. Hoping to see you all uh, soon. And yes, uh, excited as well for Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. You stay safe. Thanks, Bye -bye. everyone. Goodbye.